Natalie Rowe and her husband Reginald own a security company in New Orleans. Their staffing has dropped nearly 20% in the last year, and it's not because they aren't hiring. We have had employees that have told us because I've received my stimulus check, I'm not coming back to work. Although they offer competitive wages and benefits, many of their workers choose not to clock back in. Natalie says she would rather help them make wise choices with the extra cash. Perhaps with the stimulus check, let's look at helping you to buy a home. New Orleans has a great first time home buyers program. Let's use the money to get yourself out of debt, but you continue to work. This time last year, jobless claims were astronomical as businesses shut down due to restrictions. This week, those claims have decreased by 90%, indicating a major bounce back. I understand if you are good right now, but eventually, and that's how the government works, they're going to just take it away. Local marketing agent Paris Harris hosted a career fair. She says employers shared similar stories, and she encourages people to not let the stimulus stop them from working. This is a, it's a pandemic. It's not a new way of life, <laughs> and eventually it really is going to stop. And, you know, you want to make sure you leave good impressions with the people that you work for or you, you want to work for. As for Natalie, she hopes to employ more people while also empowering them to think differently about their futures. People are getting large amounts of money that they probably have never had before. So one thing that we need to do is probably educate our community on what to do with that money now. Now, of course, it all depends on your personal situation, but our financial expert, Kimberly Washington, the CPA, she gives some great advice on what to do with that stimulus money. That plus information on the next career fair post hosted by Paris Harris, as well as more information on SEAL if you're looking for a gig. All of that's online right now at WDSU.com. Reporting from downtown Sherman DeSalle, WDSU News.